For your penance for the next three nights to say the daily prayers of our Father Hail Mary and glory be also repair any injury that you might have done unto others and seek seek God's love and forgiveness and now let us recite together the second act of confession I confess to Almighty God one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great call. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us our salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry unto you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. Alleluia. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now in the church, the world without end. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. 
receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God of eternal love, you sent us your only begotten Son as our Savior. Give us the grace to be true disciples, walking in the way of his commandments, and loving each other as he loves us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. departed sister and blessed memory Wanda Corver, be received in your holy space. Dear Lord, grant unto her remission of all her sins, and grant unto her perpetual light. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim this holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thirteen people, eleven of them 
black and two white. Official says that he had streamed the attack on a social media platform. The Erie County Sheriff John Garcia said that this is pure evil. Straight up, racially motivated, hate crime from somebody outside our own community, outside of the city of good neighbors, as the mayor said, coming into our community and trying to inflict evil upon us. An apparent manifesto with the suspect's name was posted on Google on Thursday night. In it, the shooter claimed to have been radicalized online and appeared to adhere to false replacement theory, which has been used by white killers to justify violence against Muslims, Latinos, and Jewish people around the world. Gedrin wrote in his manifest that the particular person that radicalized him the most was Brenton Tarrant, the man who murdered 51 people in shootings at two New Zealand mosques in 2019. He also named several other people who inspired him, including Dylan Roof, the young man who killed nine black people at a church in South Carolina in 2015, and Anders Brevik, the Norwegian man who killed 77 people in 2011. In 1965, the singer Dionne Warwick wrote a song that seems to cry out to our troubled world. It is entitled, What the World Needs Now is Love. The refrain goes something like this, What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there is, just too little of. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Not just for some, but for everyone. You know, our blessed Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago with a very simple message, love. In his day, there was a lot of violence. Romans killing Palestinians as they occupied their land, and in turn, Palestinians killing Romans because of it. A Hindu, Mahatma Gandhi, lived and spoke about the need for nonviolence among Hindus and Muslims. He was assassinated in 1947 by 38-year-old Narturo Godze, a member of an extreme white right-wing party. It seemed that Gandhi was being too pro-Muslim and soft on Pal Pal uh, Pakistan, one of his most famous quotes that he used, was an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. On April 4th, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King was shot dead in Memphis, Tennessee by James Earl Jones, I'm sorry, James Earl Ray. Dr. King's message was a call for nonviolence and racial equality 
amid the Jim Crow laws found mostly in the South. You know, sadly, every single day we hear of violence in our world, the violence being perpetrated against innocent people in the Ukraine, found in our communities, and sadly, again and again, where the world has allowed anger and hatred to crowd out the message of Jesus, the message of love. Jesus is not alone in preaching love. Every single religion, the five major religions, has as its core the message of love. And it advocates its adherence through spiritual disciplines to practice love as a fulfillment of knowing God and knowing oneself. You know, every single one of us has the power to love and the power to hate. To hate does not come from God, but from the evil one. Is not the final words of the Lord's Prayer professes and prays unto God. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. You know, we all need to root out any hatred that we find in our hearts, no matter how small, like a cancer, unless checked and eradicated, hatred grows and eventually possesses the heart and the mind and the soul of the individual. It begins with a simple dislike. For me, the turning of man back unto God as a Christian is no better portrayed than Christ Jesus, who was crucified on a cross, suffering for six hours. Why? Because of love. We read in the Gospel of John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should have life and not perish. It was out of love because, as John the Baptist declared upon first thing Jesus, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. You know, I believe that we can all do our part to help tip the scales of hatred and love. One of the most important things we can do as Christians is to constantly seek the love of God in our hearts and to pray for the power of prayer is strong, to pray for love and peace. How easy it is to hate. How difficult it is to love. How easy it is to hold grudges. How difficult it is to forgive. How easy it is to find difference. How difficult it is to find unity. We hear about the message of love. And in the first letter of John the Beloved, called the disciple of love, he writes these words. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in the darkness still. 
He who loves his brother abides in the light, and in it there is no cause for stumbling. But he who hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. And so the message, as we find in today's gospel, as we find within our faith, was spoken to us by our blessed Lord and Savior, who said, My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.
in our deepest prayers. Let us pray and remember all abused and neglected children in our world, all abused and neglected animals, for all victims of violence both here and abroad. May we pray for peace in Ukraine and around the world, that the message of our Lord and Savior, that of love, be fulfilled by all. Let us thank God for all those who serve our, in our armed forces and pray that God would protect them by his holy angels. And may we pray for all here present, and their families and loved ones, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love draw them to himself make them joyful and save them he instituted these holy mysteries and were spiritually bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people at that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and again giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, the Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in the neck of the host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar and to the presence of your divine majesty, that we receive 
the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your handmaid in Wanda, who has gone before us with a sign of faith as well as all our faithful departed, and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all the rest in Christ grant, we pray a place of refreshment, life, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some heart and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom, O oh Lord, you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching, Amen. following the divine in example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Holy body and blood, 
free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us, living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entire, entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, prior to the receiving of the Blessed Sacrament, for those of you who will not be receiving the Holy Eucharist sacramentally, let us now offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall we return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord with high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord,
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And the Lord of the King is now our God. And for the repose of the souls of one, the corporate, and all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. And life from that kingdom. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 